Good evening, and you're watching RK Entertainment Presents. And as I've said many times, I'm on this journey of meeting fascinating people. And how more fascinating and fabulous can you get with an artist, a Hollywood icon, a legend, Pasquale Bedio. And today we're here at an art show for Pasquale's Bedio's art. Let's see if I can get Pasquale in here to talk to me. Pasquale, can you tell us about today and what what are you trying to show us? What are you trying to inspire us with? Um, I don't know about inspiration. All I know is that I was able to have this wonderful building here on Hollywood and Highland to unveil 40 years of artwork, actually, where whether it's artography or photographic arts or fashion, my strut wearable art, and I came up with the idea that we're going to do an art stock, just like they did Woodstock, and we're bringing artists together and uh, showing in my living museum of artography and assemblage, which is part of uh, our network of arts here in Los Angeles and Hollywood, of course. Uh, I'd just like to give you a little bit of an idea, a little of what I've done over the years, and. Uh, the assemblage art is putting things together and uh, I think it takes more than just going out and finding things and pasting them together. Uh, part of what I do is um, uh, I'm a retired senior senator for the California Senior Legislature. I was elected and I did six years up in Sacramento. And I felt that the reason why I actually went into the political arena was to be able to take the arts and get the funding and the background and the backing from our political leaders because this collection is all about humanity. I mean, if you just look around at this collection, as we will see, uh, you'll get an idea of all the pieces come from all the different cultures. And that's one of the wonderful, magnificent things. And to take these pieces and put them into an art, and the art really rec uh, uh, as assembles the past, present, and future of our humani uh, humanity and people. Uh, one of the nice things about it is that I, uh, why I have so many pieces, and believe it or not, this is the first building that I'm in that I'm avail uh, uh, um, uh, that I have the availability of enough space to show it off, and for the first time here on a great location, Hollywood and Highland, we have the opportunity to do that. I'm very, very grateful to uh, um, our principals, the owners of this building, and uh, Kayvon, and people that have been watching me put this collection together over the many years. I also have been on the Hollywood Arts Council Board of Trustees for 25 years, and I have my own organizations, Hollywood Arts Council, uh, from there I went to Sharing Friends of the Arts, Hollywood International, and then I opened the Park La Brea Arts Council where we had 10 years where we were working with community and artists and events and children and seniors and all kinds of things in education. One of the nice things about this collection is the ability to be able to share and show and teach it. So we have all kinds of methods uh, that we do. Our wearable art collection is very exciting because we have the opportunity to be able to put on shows and do all kinds of magnificent things. So Pascal, tell us, where were you born and how did you become an artist? Well, you know, I, I was born in uh, Pinewell, New Jersey and lived my early life in New Jersey and uh, Tom's River in Lakewood, graduated from Lakewood High School, then went to the University of Miami, and then I uh, decided I was working during the um, early days of my uh, college career and uh, for my father at Cape Kennedy, which was Cape Canaveral, and I saw, I, in, in, in high school I was a photographer, you know, I, I, d I did all the yearbooks and all that good stuff, and so I saw a postcard once where it said where the mountains meet the sea and uh, Santa Barbara. So I'm a graduate, of, honored graduate of Brooks Institute of Photography in Santa Barbara. So um, that's where I was born and that's where I came from and who knew we were going to end up in Hollywood. <laughs> that's so interesting. I was just listening to you talk about the yearbook. I was on the yearbook staff when I was in high school. I was saying to, I interviewed Jamie Alexander recently and I was talking to her about the journey of life and how you meet such fascinating people and how sometimes you have little things that are, that are in common, you know, and then you, when you meet someone great, you start thinking about those days back and seeing how it molded you into the person that, you're, that you are today 
And then when you meet people who have that common bond, that's just great. You know, you're a very fascinating person. When the very first time I met you, I thought you were very fascinating. All the art that you did really touched my soul. And then to hear you speak about it even just inspired me to do the best that I can do as far as it working in television because it's all it, it all is about art you know and it's just you know it's just so inspiring to meet someone like you tell me about your parents well my father was a an engineer at Cape Kennedy and my mother was a housewife who became a store owner we had a general store in those days it was a shopping center so we were uh, my mother ran that and uh, she was a community leader and uh, she just taught us very good principles and uh, was able to give her life to her two sons. Uh, I have a, a brother that um, was a professional rock crawler. He, uh, he builds cars and does that and of course he also is an entrepreneur and uh, owns um, uh, a lot of property in New Jersey and stuff. So, But he and I are, are the opposite. He's more on the mechanical and I'm more the creative, although I find that there's so, so much creativity within the mechanics of life, you know, and uh, it's amazing how you know, I don't look at anything uh, and not see art, you know. It's like uh, the advantage of putting now together this museum and I had uh, Sharon Romano from the Hollywood Beautification team give me 18 to 22 people on weekends to come and help put this place together and, and create this art environment. And you know, they would come in and they'd say, we can't believe that you made art out of nails and screws and all kinds of things. And so I think we were an inspiration and that's what the art collection is about. to inspiring other people and capturing the memories of the past and the cultures coming together. How did it come about you getting this location that is just awesome? I mean, this is prime location, Hollywood and Highland. Hollywood and Highland, the uh, Kodak Theater. Well, uh, for many years, uh, I, um, uh, with our Sharing Friends of the Arts, Hollywood International, uh, years ago I met the owner and he was. we were going to put a plaque for Charlie Chaplin on the building. Uh, it ended up that we ended up putting it at the Roosevelt Hotel and I introduced artists. I have I also through all of this, I have a school, and the school does all the different things and helps promote and put people into uh, show business and, and art and uh, education and photography. So I myself am a photographic artist, and uh, I had my first museum in Los Angeles in um, two, 1963 when they didn't uh, claim photography as an art form. So I was one of the first pioneer leaders in that area. And of course, to take a photograph and paint on it was another thing that was never done. So I created that process and it's gone all over the world. And I've kind of been the man behind the scenes and now uh, unveiling this collection. And, and I think it's part of my um, uh, duty now to uh, get this, get it photographed, and people like you who are interested to see. And you know, it's amazing. As I said, the the people that came here to help me, they were they got so inspired, say I can do this too. So any of the art that you see are are things that um, uh, people can do, and something else to feed their soul. This painting. Uh, that is an artographic painting. Uh, my niece, Jacqueline, and. Um, that, that's a wedding portrait that uh, I did, and um, it's, a, it's an artographic painting. These are people that just walked into our museum. We're having what I call an art stock, like Woodstock, and uh, I have my artists and friends that are going to be in our, our new show, which is going to be a variety show, and I just, they, we, we were just filming, and uh, these people walked in, and they said, well, we're here by accident. So they walked in off Hollywood Boulevard, and maybe we can talk to them about what they do. Uh, we're just tourists, and tourists in we're, Hollywood. yeah, we enjoy, and uh, we're happy to be here. And thank you. Sorry about this. We just pressed no, the button in a. In <laughs> it was meant to be. Meant to be. Yes. And we welcome you to the United thank States, and I welcome you to the Living Museum of Artography and Assemblage. Mm -hmm. These are things that you put together from things that you throw away and uh, making, creating art and music, and I've done a lot of things in Europe, and uh, people in Europe appreciate this more than they do in America, actually. So this is the first time that people are getting to see what I created over the last 40 years. So okay. welcome very much, thank, thank you. you. Ingeborg. Ingeborg. Joseph. And you're from Slovakia. Yes. yes. Well, thank you for coming. You've been watching a presentation of RK Entertainment Presents Pasquale Bedio.